Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me for First Chapter Friday. Today we're going to read the first chapter of the Middle School Rules of Skylar Diggins, as told by Sean Jensen. Chapter one, starting early. All birthdays are special and the best ones bring great memories and presents, but sometimes a present creates a memory and changes your life. Skylar sees a stack of wrapped gifts at the third house on the Skylar Diggins birthday tour. It's August 2nd, 1993, and she is celebrating her third birthday. Skylar has so many aunties and uncles and grandparents that she works her way around South Bend, Indiana, from home to home, collecting hugs, kisses, and gifts. At her first stop, she receives a soft and cuddly Barney the Dinosaur doll. Now, at Granny Pauline and Granddad Benny's, she sees gifts. A red tricycle with a red bow, and then, a few feet away, one massive box wrapped in blue paper. Her eyes light up. How could this day get any better, she thinks. That's from mom and daddy, her daddy says. Her mom, Renee, however, rolls her eyes. Mom has no idea what's in the big box. Mom nervously watches as Skylar rips the wrapping paper off the present that's bigger than the three-year-old. Pictures on the massive box, pictured on the massive box is a basketball hoop. Skylar squeals with delight. Open it, Skylar shouts, jumping up and down. Open it, please. The hoop has a black base, a silver pole that adjusts height, an orange rim, and a thick white net, and a black backboard with a basketball pictured in an orange border. Daddy quickly puts the hoop together, filling the black base with water so it won't topple over. Once the hoop is assembled, Skylar picks up the mini orange basketball and shoots it. Swish! She makes her first attempt. Skylar feels a tingling sensation rush through her body. She loves the feeling. Skylar, why don't you open up your other gifts? Mom gently asks, pointing to a half dozen wrapped boxes. But Skylar just wants to play with her new hoop. She trots over to her daddy, prodding him to pick her up so she can dunk the ball. Let's play, she says. Daddy immediately adjusts the hoop to its tallest setting, which is six feet high. Skylar tries another shot, but it's not so easy anymore. She repeatedly shoots the ball with all her might, and she often misses the rim altogether. When the game starts, Daddy doesn't take it easy on Skylar. Get that out of here, he playfully shouts as he sends Skylar's shot flying across the room. Skylar furrows her eyebrows and Mom shakes her head. Also included in this chapter is a flashback. And the flashback says, Ty is Skylar's daddy and he played two years of varsity basketball at Clay High School. He still plays in very competitive rec leagues. He loves to watch sports, especially supporting teams from the University of Michigan. The college's mascot is the Wolverine, and Tig tracks a lot of their games, especially in football. Once, when he was feeding baby Skylar a bottle of milk, the Wolverine scored a touchdown, and he jumped up and screamed, Yeah! Startled, baby Skylar cries. When Skylar barely stands, Tig tosses her a soft baseball. She catches it. When Skylar barely moves, Tig hands her a football. She runs with it. She's kind of athletic at two years old, Tig proudly, proudly tells his friends. When he playfully tries to tackle her, Skylar does all she can to avoid him and keeps running with the ball. Renee does not like this sort of horseplay one bit. She's not a boy, she yells at Tig. You're too physical with her. And that ends chapter one and the flashback of Middle School Rules of Skylar Diggins as told by Sean Jensen. This book, excuse me, is recommended for students in grades six through eight and is available to borrow as a print book. If you need any assistance requesting materials or have any questions, please email us at enversales at einetwork.net or call us at 412-823-2222. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.